Go ahead, shoot. What do we got today? Tell us about your guy, guys on Saturday, how things turn out for you guys. Everything was good. We got a lot of work. We got a lot of work with our guys who've gotten a lot less reps in games. So obviously the guys who've played a lot got enough reps uh, to see, you know, get some game uh, experience again, get back into it. Uh, and then we had a ton of work with the guys who will be the next guy in type person. So that, that made it sound like you had no turnovers at all or a few turnovers? We had none. It was none really zero. good for the offense. Yeah. The offense doing a great job and we're going after it. It's not like we're not trying to. Was there anyone specific who stood out on Saturday or on the defensive side? You know, not really. I, I thought as a group, uh, because we were rotating so many guys at one time, you know, it wasn't like we had ones, the whole group in there at one time. Does that make sense? First few plays and then everybody was rotating. Uh, you know, there were some great plays, some plays that we had to clean up. Uh, I thought some of the younger guys were flying around and, and proved that they would move up. Other guys, maybe not so much. And, you know, it gives us a chance to see who uh, – We'll be able to go out there on Saturday and, and give us some extra reps. Pat right. told us you had some really explosive. Well, the offense had some really explosive pass plays, especially with Jalen Barton. They did. Jalen Barton had a great day. What What did you see from them? And what, was it more like a you know busted coverage, or was it more like a hey these were contested deep passes and they just made a great play? Yeah, these were contested catches, and uh, he went up there and, and took one out of the air. It was a, just a one on one, um, and it was against uh, one of our younger guys and. He kind of took a chance and, you know, we talked to him all the time about in practice, take a chance and risk reward. And he took the risk and learned the hard way that the reward was not there on that one. And so I told him afterward and I told the defense, those are the things you have to learn in practice. So when you get in the game, you know how to play it. How have you, no, you seen them respond in the first day of practice? You know, we heard from Pat, he wasn't pleased with Month with last Monday's practice because of, you know there was a good scrimmage but then not a great practice. How have you seen him play and how have you seen your group respond to not having it as successful on Saturday? Well, I, I don't know if it wasn't wasn't as successful. It wasn't a dominating defensive right. effort, which is what we expect. But again, we expect our offense to be great too, right? So well, you know, it was a it was a uh, we hit them, they hit us. It was a it was a great battle, and I, and I was very pleased for both sides of the ball because we got a lot of great work. Did what the ones get significant, significantly fewer snaps in the scrimmage? Than Not that? significant, no. no about, but, about what we would normally get. But fewer than last Saturday. The Saturday before oh, for sure. That, yeah. yeah. What are your impressions on Shane Simon and Tyler Wilson, two new transfer linebackers? Yeah, they're both doing great. Uh, they're still learning parts of the game. You know, we the problem and the hardest thing for a new guy coming in that late is that we have the entire defense put in during the course of our two-a-days. So now we can limit it a little bit, and it'll make it a ton easier for them. But they're doing great. They're would playing you, well, and uh, you'll see them a lot on the field. Would you have been able to tell that Tyler Wilson was an FCS guy? No, not at all. No, he plays fast. He plays physical, makes plays. He's what we expected him to be. Randy, Devonshire was that guy last year. How much have you seen his growth, and what kind of impact do you think he can make? Well, I think you know we have a ton of really good corners right now. Uh, he is certainly one of those four or five guys that you're going to see out there a lot. Uh, there's a great battle every week, every day. There's a, it's a contest as to who will be the first guy running out on Saturday, and that's a, a nice thing to have. But he's definitely one of those guys. You talked about Saturday with a lot of young guys getting some reps. What about a guy like Sean Fitzsimmons as a true freshman? How's he progressing? Sean Fitzsimmons is doing fantastic. I think if we were, were very limited in numbers at that position, he would probably be pushing to be in the rotation. We're, right now we're blessed with a lot of depth at that position. So it's good for him because he's able to learn uh, and not in the heat of the battle in the first game. But uh, he will be out there. You'll see him at times. How many linebackers are in your playing time rotation? Uh, at least six, possibly seven. Probably six, though, will be what we'll go with at this point. Coach Narduzzi talked about Nick Lappy and how he's kind of elevated throughout camp. What have you seen from him? Yeah, Nick has done a great job. Uh, Nick is fast and physical. Uh, he's a smart player, and uh, he's pushing to be out there and play some. He's done a great job. Brandon, you know, what's the challenge when you have that much competition? Keep these guys, whether it's happy or knowing which, you know, communication, what are the challenges when you have that many guys? Uh, I think the biggest Really, I don't know that it's a challenge. I think the biggest thing and the nicest thing is they have to come to practice and they have to come to play every day. Because if they don't, they know somebody's going to step in front of them. And uh, every day is a competition. And we, 
don't just star a guy as a starter. If a guy's playing better than another guy, that's the guy who's going to play. So, so daily it could change. Absolutely. Very much so, and it does. What do you see for the West Virginia defense, or offense? Well, West Virginia's offense we're just getting started with, but uh, I would say that I, I know uh, Graham. I uh, actually recruited him out of high school, oh, yeah. so I know he's a fantastic uh, coach. His dad was a fantastic coach. I believe it was Ennis High School, and uh, so I know he'll have him ready to go. You know, back to Shane, I mean, does it make it easier that he's a senior graduate of Notre Dame to kind of like pick up all these things so quickly? And he's been around since spring ball, obviously. Too. For sure, for sure. But he's also a smart young man. He's a he's got football sense, football savvy. So all the concepts that we do, he picks up on very quickly because he understands the game. The past few years, you went up against Kenny Pickett in a lot of these scrimmages and you got to see him kind of just be a well-oiled machine. How have you seen both Keaton and, uh, and Nick taking on the quarterback, how, they, how you guys have challenged them and respond to those challenges? Well, Kenny was obviously a fantastic player and, and uh, you know, it was really hard because Kenny had played against this defense for what, five full years, so he knew where to go, and we had to trick him sometimes. But uh, I got to be honest with you, both our quarterbacks are doing fantastic, and I, I don't think we're going to lose a beat out there. We're going to be just as fast and just as physical, and, and I think they'll move us up and down the field.